you finally got your hands on the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and want to take a shot at using Final Cut Pro to edit your amazing content. But importing the files can be a little confusing. But don't worry, I've been there. Today, I'm going to help you import your files efficiently and avoid the mistakes that I've made so you can get to editing your next viral video. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is move your files to your laptop or your SSD if you have one. I'm going to say that again. Move your files to your laptop or your SSD. Please do not upload your files directly to Final Cut Pro. I know that some of you are new to Final Cut Pro and you think that this way is faster, but it's not. It's actually creating a problem rather than solving one, but we'll get to that in a bit. For now, let's focus on getting the files off of your SD card. To make it easier, just make sure Final Cut isn't running. And if it is, just close the application. The reason why we're doing this is because Final Cut Pro automatically opens the import window whenever a new device is detected. And you, as a young buck, will definitely try to upload right then and there. And we don't want that. Now create a folder wherever you want the project to be. If you're just starting out, depending on the amount of internal storage your laptop has, the desktop will be the easiest place for you to create a folder. But if you don't have enough storage space on your laptop, you can create the folder on your SSD. I recommend getting one with at least one or two terabytes starting out. Okay, so now you want to connect your micro SD card and move all of your files to the folder you just created. If you're not sure how to do that, I have another video where I show you how I transfer the footage and what type of SD card to get for the Osmo Pocket 3. I'll link it in the description below and at the end of this video if you need to check it out. Alright, now we're ready to import your files to create your masterpiece. Here's the way you select the event that you want to import your files to. In this case, we'll use the A-Roll. And we'll use the shortcut Command-I to open up the import window. Or click this arrow in the middle of the screen that clearly points to import media. Or click the downward arrow in the top left corner in Final Cut. From here, you'll need to find the video folder that you created earlier. Here's a pro tip. After you found your folder, you can right click it and click on favorite to pin it to the favorite sidebar. That way, if you need to import something from that folder again, you can click on the folder on the left, select your file and import. After that, you want to focus on the right side of the window where you can make sure that the folder is being added to the right event. Or you could just create another event to add the folder to. Now underneath the file section is where we found out why it's important to move your files to your laptop or SSD rather than moving it directly into Final Cut Pro. You see there's two options underneath files, right? Copy to library or leave the files in place. You want to make sure that leave files in place is selected. The main benefit of this is that less storage is being used because you're linking the original files directly to the project. But if you were uploading from the SD card directly, your only option would be to copy to library. So you will be doubling the amount of storage space that's used because you'll have two copies of those files on your laptop, which will put more stress on your laptop and bring on other problems. I tried to fix this by changing the settings to select leave files in place by default, but that doesn't seem to work for SD cards. No bueno. Now that we got that out the way, you want to select the folder or file that you want to import. If you want to import multiple folders or files to an event, just hold down the command key and select the items you want to import. And if the group of files are right next to each other, just select the top one and go to the bottom one and press shift and click on the bottom file and you should select that group of files to import. All right, so once you have all of your preferences checked and your file selected, click the import selected down in the bottom right corner. Now all of your footage should be imported into Final Cut Pro and you can start editing your video. Oh, and don't worry about saving anything. Final Cut Pro automatically saves your project after each change you make. So you can close the library with confidence knowing that everything will be right where you left it when you open it back up again. And that's about it. Real short and sweet. But you made it this far, so I know you don't hate the video. So drop a like to show some love and uh, hit that subscribe button on your way out. And if you're new here, welcome to the Tech Tribe, where the vibes are good and the content is better. Thank you for watching.
and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.